Thank you for tuning in, you're in for an educational treat. What is the most horrific thing that someone has told you super casually? I called my cousin and at the beginning of the convo I asked what she was doing, she said, oh just standing at the counter looking at my hand. I thought it was a little weird but my cousin is a little weird so I forgot about it, anyway half an hour later she goes the blood has now stained my shirt I think I should hang up and go to the ER. I was like what? So she replied, oh I stabbed myself with a meat cleaver 10 minutes before you called and the knife is still in my hand, I'm fine but my shirt is now ruined. Shock is a hell of a drug. I cracked my skull open and lost like 2 to 3 pints when a fellow scout threw a tree at my head, don't ask, and all I felt was sudden wetness and I'm like yeah I should probably tell an adult huh. A couple of years ago I was on one of those music festival cruises. I was sitting down waiting on my friends to finish their drinks and whatnot when this lady sits down next to me. Somehow we get to talking about dogs. I tell her about mine, she tells me that hers is a comfort dog. I didn't ask her to elaborate because it wasn't any of my business, but she tells me it's because she didn't leave her house for 5 years. Again, I didn't ask why. She went on to tell me, a perfect stranger who'd been talking to her for all of 5 minutes, that her ex-boyfriend was stalking her and broke into her house so she had to shoot him and kill him. I think people overshare with strangers specifically because they know they'll probably never see you again. I've let really deeply personal things slip in front of strangers, not anywhere close to the scale of things in this thread, and then afterward wondered why I did. I think it's a way to help come to terms with trauma. Super ducked up if you're the listener though. My therapist told me how she ran two people over, killing one and paralyzing the other, during out first meeting. Lol do they think doctor patient confidentiality works both ways there's a scene in 30 rock about this where doctor spaceman says this exact thing and then reveals something horrible that he did. It's been a while and I don't remember the details. I was on a date with this girl and we drove by a fast food joint and a shared parking lot. She deadpan said, my mom used to park here and shoot heroin with her bf while me and my brother sat in the back seat. Me, oh, wow. I was a heroin baby, my mom was using while she was pregnant. Me, oh. That is really sad. But it does happen. I went to uni with a guy who had to detox immediately after being born, poor thing. But he turned out. Freakishly well actually. When he first told me I thought he was joking. He was a star student, A's and firsts. Something in him had said I will never be such a runt. Real happy success story? Dan, I have no idea where you are but I'm sure you're killing it. That he was going to prison for burning down a church. I had seen this guy about 10 times since the supposed accident. We were all hanging out and he said guess what and that was that. This man really said guess what to let you know he was going to prison for arson. I was joking with an acquaintance once and he told me that he was going to move in a couple of months. We weren't really close enough for me to care, but I asked him why out of pure curiosity. In the same breath, without hesitation, he told me that he had been in the foster system all his life despite knowing his biological dad personally. His dad was some big big businessman in New York City and didn't have the time to raise a son. He had been with 11 different families in 15 years and in each one he prayed he'd get adopted. It never happened. The family that he was with at that moment told him they were thinking about adopting him but changed their minds last minute. Now he's in a constant state of expecting to move because he just assumes that no one will ever want to adopt him. If you're reading this, I hope you're doing good, Michael. A relative told me about killing man who was attempting to rape him in the back of a truck once casually over drinks. To be fair, that's a pretty good reason to kill someone. Lawyer here. I was representing a teenaged boy charged with molesting a younger relative. His mother told me, what's the big deal? I was molested as a kid and it didn't hurt me. Rule number one, if you think abuse is okay because you turned out okay. You're not okay. Right? Like, yeah you're okay now but you were freaking terrified as a kid, the f? That isn't an excuse for someone's actions. That's like a marine saying what's the big deal? I was shot and I turned out okay when a kid shoots up a school. The duck man. When I was in college, there was this guy who would hang around me sometimes that seemed just a little bit off. But he was nice and we both had similar interests so we hung out. One day, after I hadn't seen him for weeks, he tells me it's because the police were interviewing him. He tells me this story, him and his two friends were in the woods, shooting a .22 pistol. Friend number 3 tries to fire and it doesn't go off. 
Friend number three looks into the barrel to check the gun. The gun then goes off, firing the round in there, and then the next round. Shooting him twice in the face. You read that correctly. Three guys went into the woods with a .22 pistol, two walked out, and the third was shot twice in the face and died. Anyone who knows anything about guns knows this is basically impossible. But since guy and friend number two both had the same story, and the cops had no way to prove otherwise, no charges were filed. I stopped hanging out with that guy. Forever. I once asked my grandfather, how you doing grandpa? And he said, not good, not good. I moved my bowels three times already today. Went to the doctors and they put a tube in my penis. Should I mention we were at a family funeral? Hey, you asked. Bet that's the last time he asked grandpa how he was doing. When I was in seventh grade, there was a rumor going around that a student had been raped during a football game. She got called to the principal's office in math class, it was a collaborative class, so four to five people at each desk. I was like, I hope she's okay, and the girl across from me said, and I quote, I don't know why everyone's making such a big deal about this. You can't rape black girls. Can't forget that one. I'm not even 100% sure I know what she meant by that but my jaw still dropped. When I was 20 something back in the 90s I was sitting on the front steps of my condo waiting for my sister's husband to pick me up. Nice old fellow, a tenant of my building, sat down next to me. His first sentence he'd ever spoken to me was did you hear that they're taking my testicles off on Thursday? I responded that I had not. He continued yep, don't use them much anymore after the missus died. Mercifully at that moment my brother-in-law drove up. My mom was in the ER in September 2019. She had stage 4 colon cancer and was in a lot of pain and other stuff the doctor came in and just basically said well you have some heart failure and your liver is failing. And just walked out. WTF. My mom died 14 hours later from septic shock that they did not tell us but had it wrote down in her chart. Uck. Makes me so angry writing it. Taxi driver was a jerk bragging about how he had taken advantage of a drunk girl he picked up in the party zone of the city. It was the most uncomfortable taxi ride of my life. I hope you effing reported him. I did dot I hope the girl filed the complaint as well, shame I did not have more information. Good on you, seriously. That he bragged about it makes me think he's done it more than once. Middle aged dude here. The amount of child abuse my peers went through, how casual they are about, and that they lament the fact that they can't do it to their kids. Whoa that last bit. I'm praying it's physical abuse and not sexual abuse but that's really not even much better at all what the f. A neighbor told me how she was suicidal at one point and almost drove herself and her kid into a lake. Then she tried to convert me to her religion. We meet every Sunday down by the lake. The other sect of this religion occurs in a van down by the river. My boyfriend and I were hanging out with an old friend of my boyfriend's and discussing how a girl we sort of knew was raped by this guy we sort of knew slash she was friends with. My boyfriend and I were talking about how horrified and disgusted we were and his friend goes, I mean, he just had sex with her while she wasn't conscious. That's not really rape. I do that to my girlfriend all of the time. We immediately told him to leave and cut off that friendship. Dude whipped out a picture from his suit. It was of a naked woman spread eagle on a bare rug. He said girls will do all sorts of things for a quick buck and if interested, we could go in for a photo shoot. Never met him before or since. He was like showing me his favorite pet. English isn't my main language, could you explain what spread eagle on a bare rug means? What would have been your answer or question? Leave it in the comments below. Slap that like and subscribe button for more, and check out the link in the video description for even more answers. Peace out, and catch you in the next video.